good grief. I wish they would stop being so jealous of each other and help each other instead. It's such nonsense. <laughs> Yes, I'm still here. I just bumped into some stranger. I dropped everything and he just picked it all up without a word. <laughs> Speaking of helping. Oh dear, I'm running out of time. Tom just got the job in New York. I have to arrange the move and I've got absolutely no idea how we're going to get the dog there. I'm at the car. We still on for Friday? Super, see you then. I'm so happy Tom's got the new job. Transporting our things over there isn't a problem. But how are we going to get bought so safely to New York? How did Anne Helen do it back then when I was a child? After all, she moved to Washington with the whole family and the dog. Oh, how did they do it again? Darling, you have to say goodbye to Ulfi now. Oh, do I have to? Really? Okay. Have a safe trip, Ulfi. Auntie Helen, are you sure that Ulfi will really, really get to America safely? Hello, Auntie Helen. That's funny. I was just thinking of you. I told you our news, we're moving to New York soon, right? But I'm worried about the best way to get Botso there safely. Darling, that's why I'm calling. I still remember the name of the company that handled it. Oh, super. It's called Bradlin. They took care of everything, including all the customs paperwork. Fantastic. Listen, be a dear, I'm in the car right now. Send me a mail with all the details, yeah? And put Tom and CC, okay? Okay, I will. Super, thanks. Call me. Okay, call you later. Lost like a piece of luggage. No, no, no. Come here, Butzo. Come here. Sit. <laughs> That's how we'll do it, you little rascal. The people at Gradling, they are real professionals. Mm -hmm. yes. oh,